A CH-53K King Stallion heavy lift helicopter from Marine Operational Test and Evaluation Squadron, or VMX, performed an external load certification lift of an inoperable F-35 Lightning II airframe in December at Naval Air Station, or NAS, Patextant River, Maryland. The lift was to evaluate the load and inform future lift capabilities. The CH-53K is the most powerful helicopter ever developed by the United States government. This newly built helicopter will continue to fill the CH-53E Super Stallion mission as a pillar of logistics and assault support for the U.S. Marine Corps efforts, but with significant improvements, such as state-of-the-art fly-by-wire technology, reducing pilot workload, contributing to aircraft stability, and improving overall safety. The recent full-rate production decision for the CH-53K validates the aircraft's value to the U.S. Marine Corps. This test lift is one more demonstration of its performance and reliability. The NAS Puxtetan River F-35 Integrated Test Force, or ITF Test Team, Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division, or NAWCAD Cargo Lab, and others ensured a successful lift and flight by conducting load certification testing, sling configuration analysis, and cargo characteristics documentation as required. Data from the tests will inform the flight envelope for future events. An earlier crane test lift verified the jet's sling, rig, pitch, bank attitudes, and control surface states. The aircraft lifted is a developmental test carrier variant F-35C fighter jet that had accrued 750 flight hours during 450 test flights between 2010 and 2016. The F-35C and rigging weighed about 22,000 pounds after removing its mission and propulsion systems, outer wings, and additional equipment. The CH-53K is currently cleared to conduct a 27,000-pound external lift and is projected to be removed for a 36,000-pound external lift, nearly three times more under high, hot conditions than its predecessor, the CH-53E. In September 2021, the CH-53K performed its first operational mission by lifting a Navy MH-60S Nighthawk helicopter from a 12,000-foot mountaintop in California. That aircraft weighed approximately 15,000 pounds and was successfully transported 23 miles to Fallon, Nevada. This type of mission is precisely what the K was designed and built to do, said Colonel Kate Flieger, Program Manager for the Heavy Lift Helicopter Program Office, or PMA-261. It continues to prove its value in support of Marine Corps operations, transporting equipment that no other rotary wing platform can lift. The CH-53K operated by Marines in the fleet continues to achieve milestones. U.S. Marines have exceeded 1,000 operational flight hours in the CH-53K, completed the second successful sea trial, and transferred supplies from the KC-130 into the CH-53K. The 1,000 fleet flight hour milestone represents the aforementioned lessons learned and Herculean effort by the Marines and sailors of HMH-461, said U.S. Marine Corps Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Nicholson. Perhaps more importantly, the milestone's proximity to the squadron's completion of Stage 1 CH-53K transition requirements, which represent crews capable of performing all Marine Heavy Helicopter Squadron mission essential tasks, demonstrates that the CH-53K King Stallion is not a future capability. Rather, it is a very real warfighting capability available today. Additionally, the CH-53K reached another milestone in military aviation history. According to Nicholson, HMH-461 conducted an external lift weighing 36,000 pounds during an event at WTI on March 28, 2023, which set the record for the heaviest lift by a U.S. military helicopter outside of developmental testing. However, with all new things come new challenges. Thank you.
Learning how to best respond to the instant availability of aircraft data provided by the CH-53K's integrated vehicle health management system represented a significant paradigm shift from the legacy CH-53E, said Nicholson. Additionally, maintenance personnel have devoted considerable effort toward the correction of publication gaps and tool improvements. Again, such gaps are common for new airframes, but they still present daily challenges at the tactical level. The squadron is determined to keep training and improving their proficiency with the CH-53K for the future. Our immediate task is to conduct effective CH-53K series conversion training of pilots, aircrew, and maintainers as rapidly as possible in preparation for the first CH-53K Marine Expeditionary Unit deployment and to provide trained personnel to seed subsequent squadron transitions, said Nicholson. Moreover, on August 24, 2023, the U.S. Navy awarded Sikorsky, a Lockheed Martin company, a $2.7 billion contract to build and deliver 35 additional CH-53K helicopters, the largest procurement for this multi-mission aircraft. This contract award for 35 CH-53K helicopters stabilizes Sikorsky's nationwide supply base, creates additional production efficiencies, and provides the U.S. Marine Corps with transformative 21st century technologies, said Paul Lemo, president of Sikorsky. Our long-standing partnership led to this best value contract award, providing the capability and readiness the Marines need. The agreement includes 12 U.S. Marine Corps Lot 7 aircraft, 15 U.S. Marine Corps Lot 8 aircraft, 8 aircraft for Israel. The Lot 7 and 8 contracts for the Corps, using fiscal 2023 and fiscal 2024 money respectively, are the first two full-rate production contracts. Sikorsky will begin delivering these aircraft in 2026. This contract significantly advances Sikorsky and the U.S. Navy toward a multi-year agreement and the 200 aircraft Marine Corps program of record. The U.S. Navy declared full rate production for the CH-53K program in December 2022. This is expected to increase production to more than 20 helicopters annually in the coming years. Sikorsky is procuring long lead items and critical materials to support the ramp-up of CH-53K production in its digital factory. Our skilled employees are using digital tools to build more efficiently as these helicopters roll off the production line and into the hands of the Marines, said Dana Fiatarone, Sikorsky Marine Corps Systems Vice President. The performance of the CH-53K in the fleet validates its capabilities to provide a strategic advantage and shows that even more is possible with this aircraft. The CH-53K is a multi-mission helicopter with heavy lift capabilities exceeding all other U.S. Department of Defense rotary wing aircraft. It is the only heavy lift helicopter remaining in production through 2032 and beyond.